as we have discussed in the earlier video that flask is just a backend to make it look nicer to make it look prettier you need html css and javascript so first of all let's install bootstrap because we are going to use bootstrap and now the great thing is bootstrap has come out with version 5.0 so search for bootstrap 5 and you can click on this first link but i'm going to go directly to v5.getbootstrap.com all right so implementing bootstrap in your flask app is really easy first of all we are going to make few changes don't worry it's going to take just few seconds so just like templates folder flask looks for a static folder and inside that folder you can place your css files and js files so let's click on this new folder button type static and then inside this static we're just going to create a main.css and then main.js all right after this as you already know we have discussed the layout of our website so we know that several pages of our website are going to have same layout same structure same navigation bar maybe same sidebar maybe like this uh, we have a home page here let's create an about page as well and let's create an account page as well now let's delete what we had before all right so now as we discuss the zen coding let's type exclamation mark and the first exclamation mark is for html5 documentation the second one is just for this doc type html and we do not need it we need the simple one because it generates a complete html code for head section here it is and then the body section so we kind of need this one all right so in title you can type home page all right so now we are going to generate the same for this then the account as well all right so as you can see it becomes a little tedious because imagine if you were to create seven more pages or maybe 10 more pages and what if you had to make changes inside every single one of these files suppose you have a navigation bar and you hard coded it in every single page and if you were to add a new tab in it then you would have to add it in every single one of these pages and we don't want to do that it's time consuming and it is bad coding so we are going to use a layouts.html file that will have all the boilerplate all the basic codes that you need and all of these rest of the pages are going to inherit that template so let's get to it in our templates folder itself let's create a file layouts.html all right in layouts.html we can do the same thing so this one is the boilerplate we need this particular code in every single one of those pages all right so we can use we can delete this code and we can extend this particular layouts template inside home page about an account page and similarly in other pages as well as we create in future so the format for it is like this extends and now where does it extends from in single quotes type the name of the template from where the code extends from now this particular code is for jinja 2 template engine it recognizes this code and then looks at this file and takes all of this code and puts it inside our home page now you might be asking that i have the document here and it's going to place this title in here as well so every single page is going to have this document written in them and we don't want that we want this one to be called home page dynamically this one about dynamically this one account all right we can use variables to dynamically add anything inside our these HTML pages. So let's change our layouts a little. Let's delete this document and place double curly braces and end with double curly braces. Inside that, we will add title. Simply that. All right. And we don't need to make the same change here, but we are going to copy and paste this Jinja2 code in every single one of our main page. 
all right now back in our routes file this one we are going to add title is equal to now this variable is the same one that we defined in these curly braces so please pay close attention to this because we are going to be using this a lot i'm going to use split to write so that we can see both of those files together all right so now we can see routes file and layouts file together so this title that we are defining here for the first time is the same variable that we are going to use in these curly braces so in this title whatever we define is going to be placed inside here i hope the concept is clear so the title is home page you can either write it with a space or without a space it's up to you so now let's run this server because it has crashed and whenever you make changes in the python file not the html file your code is going to break don't worry about this after you make the changes you can run your server again that's python run.py all right so now let's open our file and our home page is currently empty all right so why is it happening i hope you already know that we currently do not have anything inside the body of our file but don't worry we'll get to that later let's look at the title of our page it's home page and just to clarify let's go to routes and let's delete page and now it should say home refresh it and now it's saying home so our code is working perfectly similarly let's add our about and account routes as well so most of the time you are going to be copy pasting a lot of code so let's select all of these lines and hold alt and shift together and press the downwards arrow to copy it see it saves a lot of time and don't worry several programmers are using it so we do not need this particular route here because it's for the direct home route and this one we are going to call about template is about as well and the title is again about similarly you can do the same with account and don't worry we are going to fill rest of the information as we go along same thing alt shift and down key there we go and now this would be the account route same thing account.html and then the title should be account all right so i hope you have noticed that we have not changed this function and please do note that you cannot have same function defined twice so let's change it this one should be called about page you can type about page or just about and this one should be account so please pay close attention to everything that we are doing here because it's going to make or break your code so after doing this basic structure and extending the layouts let's include bootstrap in our file so let's open bootstrap and what do you need to do to include bootstrap 5 well just scroll down so here bootstrap cdn now for css only you need this link for js and dependencies you need this link so first of all we are going to add the css one copy it and for CSS you need to paste it before the closing head section please watch that we are doing it in layouts.html all right so don't worry about the length press home this one is for CSS only and for you know more clarity in our code we are going to type bootstrap 5 and this JavaScript code let's copy it it should be before the closing body tag so here and same thing we are going to just copy this bootstrap 5 and then paste it here so now bootstrap 5 is included in our flask app now if you want to add anything inside your home page about our account you need jinja 2 codes and jinja 2 code for adding anything inside your pages is in the block form so we will create empty blocks inside layouts.html and then add content inside homepage.html let's see it so the code is like this block content and then the same goes with ending it see ending it is also important so 
for and you can type n block because we are going to make a lot of blocks like this if you want so for clarity where this particular block ends you can write n block content now in here in homepage.html you need to do the same the layouts form will be empty but in homepage.html you can write block content and then whatever you write just after this block content will be showcased in your application so for now let's just type h1 and then home page is working All right now we need to end this block so let's type and block and then content all right so as you can see it has crashed again now let's run it all right so let's click on it so home page is working so let's check if our bootstrap files has loaded or not just by looking at this particular font type i can assume that bootstrap is working but still right click it view page source and see bootstrap five files are included in it all right so bootstrap is working our css is working as well now what if you want to include your main css file but suppose you want to create your own colors your own blocks and anything like that you don't need to do that but sometimes you want to make some personal changes and those changes are going to be done from main.css so how do you include it well including it is really easy all right so here we are going to just type a comment and to type a comment quickly just press ctrl and then slash and then type your comment uh, this one would be custom.css all right that would be link then relation same thing style sheet and then the hyperlink reference and our hyperlink is going to be inside this static folder so i'm going to use url for function but you cannot simply write url for you need to use jinja to templates to pass off any python codes because url for function is related to python just like we did this with this uh, variable that we defined in routes.py file same thing so double curly braces to start it and double curly braces to end it now type url for and then it accepts two arguments. First one is going to be about the directory to which the file resides. So that would be static. And after that, comma, and now I state the file name. And the file name is main.css. So it is this easy to include your main.css file. So let's make it larger. Don't forget to end it with the greater than sign, just like we started it with the less than sign. Now in homepage.html, just to check if our main.css is working, we are going to create a container. So again, with Zen coding, you don't need to type div and then class and things like that. You can just type dot to create a class and you can type hash to create IDs. For this one, we are going to create class. So dot and then test. All right, press tab. And see it has filled out all that and when you keep using it it becomes so much robust so in this div we are just going to type this is a test now you can wrap it in p tags as well it has also you know fulfilled it so i'm just going to cut it and paste it here open our file and refresh the page so this is a test has appeared now let's open the main.css and we want to see the home page as well as the main.css so i'm going to move the main.css besides layout all right so click on home page let's quickly give it some styling so dot test in curly braces just give it a width of let's say 300 pixels and then height of 300 pixels and maybe a background of purple and let's display it as a block Save it. All right, so let's see if our code is working. Since our server is already running, I'm going to open Firefox. And then same thing, proceed to localhost 5000. And it seems that our code is not working. It should have displayed a block of 300 by 300 with the color purple. It did not work. And why is that? Because I made a blunder. I created this static folder outside of code jana underscore plus folder. And this would be a good opportunity to tell you how the structure currently looks. 
All right, so this is our desktop. We had created code jana underscore flask and inside it, we created the run file and then everything inside the code jana underscore flask. Here are the rest of the files. So whenever I created the folder static, I accidentally created it within the first code jana flask folder. So now let's move it into our code jana underscore flask folder. So every single folder and file from now on, and I should have done it in the first place, should be inside this code jana underscore flask folder. All right, so now that is fixed. Let's now open our file again and reload the page. So it is appearing and currently the text is black on purple. All right, so let's make some change to make it look white. Now we have this p tag inside our div class. So here's what we can do dot test and then inside of that change the styling of p so let's change it to color white and boom it's working so it seems that bootstrap is working our main dot css is working so let's test our main dot js as well so first of all we are going to add that js file in our home page all right so now let's make some changes inside main dot js so inside code jana flask static for some reason, main.js is deleted. So let's create main.js inside static. All right, so here we have. Now, if you want, you can use main.js inside layouts.html and it will apply main.js throughout your website as long as you're using layouts.html extents. However, we just want to make sure that we can use main.js. So I'm going to include it inside just homepage. Adding the main.js file is really simple just need to add it before closing the end block content so the code goes like this a script and then the source of that script and uh, we are going to use the url for function again so curly braces and then url for now same thing we're going to need the directory that's static and then comma now the file name File name is main.js this time. Now after this, you need to close this script and then make it larger. So it looks like this. Now let's see if our main.js is working or not. Now I'm going to use main.js to change the color of this block. So let's see this as well. We have this home page, and then let's move main.js to all right, so let's create a variable. Let's just name it change color. Let's, let's grab that class and you can use get element by class name. Or if we had used an ID, for example, if we had done something like this, like ID test block, we could use get element by ID. But don't worry, we are not going to use get element. We're actually going to use query selector because it works well with both ID and class. So query selector, in its query selector, you can then define which query you want to select. So class name goes with a dot. So dot test. After this, you can access the methods inside change color. So change color variable, then dot. And you can either add an event listener if we had some kind of button, but don't worry, we're going to make it something simple. We're just going to use the style method. So style, all right. So in styling, we can change this to like background color. So background color, let's change it to green. Okay, so that would be, all right. So after making the changes, let's see if it works. Let's reload the page. And boom, it's now green. So our JavaScript is working as well. If you were to just uh, comment it out and then change it. All right, so as you can see, our homepage is working. We have installed Bootstrap, checked main.css, checked main.js, and finally we can begin creating our homepage. In the next one, we will be creating our web page, just like you've seen here. We will have a navigation bar and then all of these fields. Please like this video and share it with your other coding buddies and subscribe to CodeJana. Take care. Happy coding.